What's up YouTube? Now today I'm doing the continued video of the DOP Zen C91. Um, obviously as I said before this is part of the DOP range. I have the DOP Z92NF on the left and the Z92 on the right. Um, this one is different as you can see there is no timer ring as such. So um, it's just a little bit different how you set it but there is technically a timer ring. So I'm just going to start with the bottom of the mechanism. You can see that there is two layers You've got the inside layer, which is the one that's threaded and is screwed onto the um, bottom of the fuse. And then we have this layer, which is not threaded on the inside. So, in theory, how you would set this fuse is you would screw the inside layer on, hence that moves separately. So you'd screw that on, and then that would be held in place by the pin marks. So, let's just move it to a pin mark so you can see the point. Okay, so that's at a pin mark there at the bottom. So that would be pinned in there on both sides and then this ring is free moving. So you can see the inside ring here isn't spinning around but the outside ring is so you can set the timer with the outside ring and then when you're done you can move it to a point like that as such and then pin it in place so it wouldn't move. So that's how you'd actually set this fuse and um, I might as well just undo the bottom of it just to show you how how this bit comes apart before actually taking the top off the fuse um, it is a little bit difficult just because of the age there we go so this is the inside bit, the threads on the inside this screws onto the bottom of the fuse and obviously as I actually just mentioned there are no threads on the inside that's just flat brass um, there's also a spring which when it actually worked you could have actually had this bit tight on as tight as it would screw on then you'd be able to pull this down with the um, tension of the spring spin it round and then the spring would hold it up and then you would pin it in place the spring does come out it's just playing a bit difficult to get out um, there you go steel spring not very springy anymore it's actually just rusted up and that just slits in the bomb um, that's pretty much it for the spring and the bottom of the fuse. Um, ti um, the timer ring that would move around the rotating ring has the same um, small cover that just goes around the inside of the um, the bottom of the ring with the um, gunpowder hole there. So it would go, the gunpowder would go down there through here, and then it would come out of these holes in the bottom. As you can see, that one there is a hole. So is that one, and so, well, so are they all, apart from one of them, which is this one as such at the top. That one was just a pin. Um, I have got an option of that. If you watch the DOP Z92NF video, you can see the um, ringing in that fuse. That bit actually comes out of this one, but it doesn't come out of this fuse. So that's it for the bottom of that fuse. Um, and the top bit, I'm quite happy that I've actually managed to screw this all the way back in. And um, if you just notice on the DOP Z92NF, I've managed to get this to go all the way back in as well. Um, most of the videos that you would have seen this in, it was just semi-screwed in. Like, it only went in about that far. So but quite a few people wondered why it didn't go in any further. That was just because the threads just weren't up too much and have actually had the time to, um, to file it down now. So it does screw in, which is quite good. Um, I've also done the same with this one. If it will, yep. Yeah. Now it's unscrewing. And inside, um, you can just see that where the gap for the um, the spring would be. Um, we also have the spring, nice brass spring. Still got a little bit of spring in it. And then we have the original detonator in the top. This also does unscrew. As such, it's um, it's just not very easy to unscrew in and out because I haven't really cleaned the threads out properly on it. But there you go. It's just a um, a shortened down version of the one that's in these two. So well, obviously, because it's a smaller fuse, everything's just going to be a little bit smaller in the way it works. And then in the bottom of it, you can't really see that very well. If I just try and get a be better view in there. 
um, you can sort of just see that there's a little plate in there with holes in it and a spike in the centre now that, that plate does not unscrew in this one because basically I haven't got anything so that I can stick in there and then twist it with because it's not it's not got any screw points or anything that I can just get hold of and it's like quite far down inside the fuse so I'm just gonna have to leave that and the annoying thing is you can actually hear the inside bit of the of the very bottom of it which you can see in the other video of this one because it doesn't come out of this one obviously and um, you can actually hear it moving around inside so the only thing that's stopping me from getting this fuse completely apart is that bottom plate in there so if the plate came out I would be able to get into the bottom of it which is clearly loose and still in there which is always nice to know but it doesn't come apart so it's not going to happen and then in the background we've got two damaged 40 mils from impacts which are quite nice display pieces one on each side and some 303 bullets along the back that's it for this video um, keep a look out for some other stuff I've got quite a few World War 2 things coming up soon uh, I've sort of just been swapping wars into the World War 2 side as well as buying the World War 1 stuff of course so um, keep a look out for that lot thanks for watching